Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Rob Lutke with Hell Sidekick. I wanted to take a second to go over the HSK prime number and why this has been an instrument for me. I think it will help you when it comes to maintaining or losing or even gaining weight, if that's your goal. The HSK prime number is unique. Our site, Hell Sidekick, is the only site that has it. It's our own proprietary algorithm that I'm going to prove to you right now that is more accurate than any other site out there when it comes to giving you how many calories you should be eating to lose weight. I'm going to, not to pick on uh, my fitness pal, but since they're one of the largest uh, sites out there, the, the reason why I say I'm not going to pick on them, they, they use the exact same equation every other site uses. The most popular are the Mifflin or the Harris Benedict with or without TDEE to calculate how many calories you can eat to lose weight. So the main difference is, remember, you're going to put your weight in. You're going to put your goal weight. And again, you can get this number anywhere. This isn't a proprietary algorithm. Everybody uses basically the same thing. But anyhow, you put your weight in. You put your age, obviously, how, much, how tall you are. And then it, then it will go ahead and maintain my current weight, for example, if that's my goal. Remember, I maintain my current weight. I'm 172.8 pounds, 5'9", born in October 1969. Remember those numbers. And I click update my profile. And it tells me that I can eat 2,070 net calories. That's calories after exercise or before exercise. Uh, 2,070 net calories to stay the same. Now, if I go to Health Sidekick, I can look at the exact same kind of numbers. Here I am, October 1969, 5'9", 172.8 pounds. And I can go ahead and go to my dashboard. And it says right here, the HSK prime number is telling me that I can eat 1,623 net calories to maintain. Or that's before or after any exercise. It's your net calories, okay? So the difference is close to... You know, for over over 400 calories a day that, for example, my fitness pal would give me or any other site. Again, it's not just my fitness pal. They they just use the same static equation everybody else does. Uh, but it, whether you're talking about Weight Watchers, Lose It, My Fitness Pal, uh, Fitbits, all of them use the same type of basic equations, which are st which are static. Uh, the difference between how sidekick, what the reason how this number was generated is, is it goes off of what I did. So regardless, for example, if we go back, regardless of the foods I'm eating, the activities I'm doing, what kind of job I have, if I'm sitting at a desk, but who or who I am, it doesn't matter. This this number that you get, if you if you're a, if you're 172.8 pound male and you're five nine, and you were born October second, nineteen sixty nine, and you put that you spend most of your time sitting at a at a desk, you're going to get this the same number I did, no matter what two thousand seventy calories. What else Sidekick does is it takes what I did. It doesn't go off the static equation, but instead it goes off of what I've done, the activity I've done, the food I'm eating, and tells me that based on that and how it's impacted your weight, this is how much you can eat and stay the same. So a difference of 400 calories. Now, I'm going to click on something that might be a little bit more confusing for people, but hopefully you can follow me. If you go to averages, the, these averages, for example, if I click on my seven-day average, what this tells me is that this 1,638 is the net calories, is the net calories that I ate every day for the last seven days. On average, that's what I ate, 1,638 calories. My HSK prime number during that time was 1623. So I was over that, cap, that HSK prime number a tiny bit. So based on that number that HSK is putting out, I would anticipate that I would gain weight. And in fact, I did. My average weight went up 0.21 pounds over the previous seven days. I was over the calories by 1623 by whatever 15 15 calories, and it actually contributed to me gaining 0.21 tenths of a pound. If you take a look at my 14-day average, I ate an average of 1,588 net calories on average. Again, that's uh, after exercise and so forth. And I, my HSK prime number was 1623. And as you can see, it actually translated into me 
losing 0.3 pounds. My 30 day, if I click on my 30 day average, you can still see here I am, 1,621 net calories. It was my HSK prime. I ate an average of 1,568 calories and I lost 0.38 of a pound compared to the previous 30 days. So the bottom line is, as you can see, this number is significantly off from what I actually would have occurred. And the problem with that is that if you're going to take the time to log food and so forth, which is a pretty easy uh, thing to do, you might as well get something that's more is something that's very accurate when it comes to telling you how many calories you can eat to lose weight. This will help you. And remember this, that as you change your foods, because it, Health Sidekick doesn't go off the static measurements, but instead goes off of what, how, how this impacted your body, how what you did impacted your body. Because of that fact, if you change foods, this number will update based on how it's impacting your body. So for example, if you decide to eat, hey, you know what, I'm going to eliminate sugar from my diet if that's something that you wanted to do. This number very, very most likely or could end up going up a couple hundred calories. It will react to how your body reacts to what you're doing. I hope that helps.